Hey everyone, it's been a minute. Uh, we thought we were well and truly overdue for an update for you guys. Um, we got really busy and then things just kept spiraling and we just didn't have time and we well, didn't make time for making videos and obviously with the lockdowns and stuff we weren't able to get out of the house. Uh, so yeah, we're finally working through it. Um, we sort of we were pretty burnt out at the end of last year so we've taken some time off we're trying to spend some time going camping and, and getting outside be thankful you can't smell me because we've been out camping for the last two days um, but it's just yeah we're, we're starting to get back on our feet again and we're starting to put plans in place um, to get back into bringing you guys some more content basically uh, you, as you may have seen we've now started doing fabrication work uh, we've got our own DIY products that we're trying to keep developing and bringing you guys new products to help you guys with your builds. We've still got Ultra 4 on the go. It's getting a little bit tricky with all these restrictions and lockdowns. But yeah, we are we are getting there slowly. And uh, as you can see behind me, the 80 series has gotten a little bit of love uh, since, since we've got it. Um, we've had it for about a year and a half now. We haven't really um, done a whole lot to it as such. We haven't filmed a whole lot with it. Um, but we've got a nice tent now. Um, I built a roof tray for it because nobody had any stock. I just finished off putting a 4 inch snorkel on it uh, and a new air box and stuff like that. So we're starting to get it pretty well set up. Uh, we've got all the readout gear in the back. Uh, we splashed out on the cheap and nasty fridge just to see if we liked the concept and to see how good the quality was. Uh, so far so good and um, we've been really enjoying just being able to jump in the truck and, and just disappear um, and just not film. I know we should, um, but we haven't been doing much. We've just been relaxing, unwinding, and just making sure we're putting plans in place to, to stay on top of things, because that was the biggest thing for us. It, it falling behind is not fun, um, especially when it's quite stressful and um, with everything else going on in the world. So sometimes you have to make some time for yourself and sit down and relax. So that brings me to the next point, which is a hot topic of things that I always get harassed about and that would be that Suzuki called Project Tight Squeeze that I started four years ago that was supposed to be a one year build that spiraled out of control quite rapidly uh, I haven't touched it in nearly 10 11 months uh, I just haven't had time for it and now that I'm self-employed I kind of have to focus on putting food on the table rather than spending the food money on parts to finish things. Um, I know it's not much of an excuse for you guys. You guys are all looking forward to it. I am constantly, like without fail, every week, somebody asking me where it's at. Um, and I do apologize, but trust me, I want it done as much, if not twice as much, as what you guys want to see it done. Um, it's just hasn't been a priority for the moment um, which kind of sucks because I really really want it done um, and as you know we, we bought the Jeep I kind of broke my golden rule of not buying another vehicle um, to get distracted with which we did with the Suzuki and then that blew up and then we got the Jeep uh, mainly to promote Ultra 4 stuff um, and that's kind of we used it a few times and then we broke a drive shaft on it and it was a thousand bucks to fix so that just kind of sat there for months until we saved up enough to get it fixed so yeah we are getting there um, there's a few more surprises coming soon uh, some more updates and um, we're just gonna try and get out and film things again what we can and make the most of living in this beautiful country obviously we can't leave can't go to King of the Hammers which is coming up next week and um, yeah, so we're just going to make the most of it, get out, enjoy some stuff, and see if we can get stuck in some really dumb places. But I do appreciate you guys joining us and following us and everything else. You guys are awesome. We do have one of the best audiences out there. Like, everyone is so cool and likes to check in and, and see what's going on. Um, but, yeah, that's what's happened. That's what's happening. And uh, let's move forward together. And I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you guys out in the tracks one day soon. Right, if you made it this far into the video through all my waffling uh, and you have subscribed, you get a thumbs up. If you haven't, hit that right now. I'll give you a second. Yep, cool, done. All right, well, if you follow me around here, here's the surprise. Um, because I suffer from severe stupidity and I just can't help myself, I bought a 
golf cart. I'm taking up golf, become a seasoned professional. Um, dominated the, the local tour, the PGA uh, mini golf tour. So now we're stepping up to the big league and we needed something to get our clubs around. Um, and when we're done with that, we go spray some weeds with it. Or it's just gonna end up broken like everything else in the driveway at the moment.